I'm Dave Brown, Vice President of Amazon EC2. I'm excited to be here for Silicon Innovation Day 2023. I started working in Amazon EC2 more than 15 years ago in Cape Town, South Africa, and currently lead a team of Amazonians who work on behalf of customers to deliver products to meet their performance, cost, and security requirements. Today, we will give you insights into how we develop, design, and architect silicon for the cloud, and how you can benefit from that silicon to build and run your workloads and business. I'm joined by Dr. Ruba Bono, Vice President of Worldwide Channels and Alliances. Ruba, thanks for joining me, and can you introduce yourself? Thanks, Dave. I'm excited to be here at Silicon Innovation Day 2023. I lead the AWS Partner Organization, and this is a global team supporting over 100,000 companies in more than 150 countries. Many of the partners I speak to regularly have taken advantage of the innovations in silicon that AWS has designed and developed, and they help AWS customers use many of our newest services and products. Now, I have the distinct opportunity to create a bridge between experts at AWS and our partners to help solve technical challenges for our customers. And I'm thrilled today to talk even more about how many of our partners and customers have taken advantage of AWS Silicon. Now, I'm particularly passionate about this topic. As a matter of fact, my interest in silicon development started a long time ago when I was an Intel PhD fellow at the National Science Foundation's Engineering Research Center for Wireless Integrated Microsystems. And there I designed analog circuits. There's been a lot of evolution and change in how silicon has been designed and developed since then, but it remains something I'm really interested in. So I'm thrilled to talk more about the AWS innovations in this space today. So Dave, maybe the best place to get started is for you to provide a brief history of how AWS started developing silicon and how that silicon has helped customers. Well, back in 2012, Peter DeSantis, Senior Vice President of Amazon Compute, and James Hamilton, Senior Vice President and Amazon Distinguished Engineer, were thinking about adding a hardware device to servers at AWS to enhance security and enable bare metal capabilities. And that simple idea that AWS could create this single piece of dedicated hardware for the cloud opened the doors to more possibilities and even more purpose-built silicon. Today, we have four custom-built semiconductor lines at AWS. Many of you might know about our most popular product line, AWS Graviton, which is our general purpose CPU. We delivered the third generation of Graviton, Graviton 3, in 2022. Our next two product lines are part of our ML portfolio, Trainium and Inferentia. Last year, we launched our ML training chip, Trainium, and just a few months ago, we launched the second generation of our inference chip, Inferentia 2, along with the Inf2 and TRN1N instances. The fourth semiconductor product line is our AWS Nitro system, or Nitro. Nitro is specifically the AWS Nitro cards that make up the hardware portion of it, is our first and longest standing semiconductor product line. It's not an Amazon EC2 instance type, but every modern server that we have launched contains a minimum of a Nitro card and frequently has multiple cards. Ruba, the Nitro system is a great example of how we have invented and innovated on behalf of our customers to provide additional performance and security for their applications. For more than a decade, we have been reinventing the EC2 virtualization stack by offloading more and more virtualization functions to dedicated hardware and firmware. And the Nitro system is a result of this continuous and sustained innovation. It's hard to believe that in just 10 years, we have gone from a mere concept to already having deployed more than 20 million chips across AWS. Dave, that's an incredible summary. I love hearing about the history of our silicon innovation and how this was driven by our passion for delivering on customer requirements. I mean, huge impact that the team has had. So could you also talk about how customers have taken advantage of this innovation and how partners can help use it? No, absolutely. Well, when we started Amazon EC2, we established two principles that define our commitment to customers and partners. First is we provide customers with the tools and services to securely and reliably run virtually any workload in the cloud, something that has helped define the level of innovation we continue to deliver to customers. The second is that we want to continuously increase performance we offer to customers while lowering overall costs. Part of our ability to help reduce costs for customers has been through offering some of our dedicated silicon-based instances, such as those powered by AWS Graviton, Inferentia, and Trainium. The other thing that I want to mention is around how customers can leverage our silicon products to help achieve their sustainability goals. As you probably know, Ruba, the greenest energy is the energy we don't use. Today, customers can reduce their energy consumption by using efficient instances. 
AWS Graviton uses up to 60% less electricity than comparable instances. So when customers use Graviton, they can also reduce the fleet size of their workload and use a smaller instance size or do both. That's incredible customer impact. So one more question. In addition to sustainability, customers and partners also talk to me regularly about security and confidential compute. So how does our Nitro system help with those? Well, Ruba, at AWS, we define confidential computing as the use of specialized hardware and associated firmware to protect customer code and data during processing from outside access. When we engineered the Nitro system, it was designed with a hardware-based route of trust using the Nitro security chip, allowing us to cryptographically measure and validate the system. This provides a significantly higher level of trust than can be achieved with the traditional hardware and virtualization systems. The AWS Nitro system provides protections to customers who use Nitro-based Amazon EC2 instances without requiring any code or workload changes from the customer side. Ruba, I know many customers and partners you talk with leverage confidential computing from AWS. Can you tell us how partners have leveraged confidential computing on AWS using our Nitro system chips? Absolutely. When I talk to partners, we know that security is always top of mind and is job zero. Especially when we think about customers in the financial services or healthcare industry that are dealing with critically important and sensitive data and information. It's also central to maintaining a trusted customer experience, which our partners absolutely care about. And they care about ensuring high quality performance without having to compromise on security. They want the best price to performance that provides them the best solutions to help reach their customers. Now we have a broad set of capabilities which enable confidential computing to help protect data. This is what our partners are looking for, to address privacy concerns, collaborate securely, and build trust in their data processing capabilities on behalf of customers. By leveraging confidential computing on AWS with Nitro chips, partners can help enable customer trust by providing an additional layer of security assurance. This inspires our partners to help customers unlock and create innovative solutions using AWS Nitro solutions to meet their business needs. These capabilities begin at the foundational level with the AWS Nitro system and extend further. Partners can also choose to use AWS Nitro Enclaves using the same Nitro hypervisor technology to reduce the attack surface area for highly sensitive information. Nitro Enclaves uses cryptographic attestation so that you can be sure that the only authorized code is running, all at no extra charge other than the EC2 instances. Partners like Anjana, working to create a high trust environment where data is always encrypted, have built solutions to help our customers further protect and securely process sensitive data. With the support of Anjana's confidential computing platform, customers can easily embrace AWS Nitro Enclaves and create confidential clouds in a matter of minutes by lifting and shifting their existing applications without any need for code changes. We are continuing to see a lot of interest from customers in financial services, blockchain, and data privacy engineering customers for these capabilities, and we encourage more and more partners to lean in and take advantage of building segment-specific solutions, leveraging our confidential computing capabilities. There is so much more we can do together to help customers. So Dave, once we designed the AWS Nitro system, why and how did we move to design other purpose-built chips? Well, we realized a few years ago that if we wanted to further push the envelope on price performance for our customer workloads, we knew that we would have to develop our own chips. You heard earlier, as I mentioned, how we developed the Nitro system. Well, the Nitro system had ARM-based chips that we actually built. And during that time, we did a lot of work building chips and software for ARM, and we got really good at both the hardware and software aspects of developing for ARM. We saw that so much of the innovation was happening at the silicon level that we knew we'd eventually have to build our own chip if we wanted to give our customers even better price performance. With the proven success and experience in building custom ARM-based hardware and software solutions, we asked ourselves what an AWS built processor might look like. Existing x86 general purpose processors are great, and they're designed to run a wide variety of workloads. However, they include a broad set of capabilities that aren't fully utilized in emerging and cloud workloads. Those extra capabilities and legacy features add cost and complexity. With a custom processor, we can architect a processor for the cloud era by implementing features that cloud workloads really need to provide unique performance and cost points for customers. Furthermore, we work closely with the ISV community to ensure that our customer workloads will be supported on Graviton. 
Today, we're in our third generation of Graviton processors, and customers have been loving them. With Graviton-based Amazon EC2 instances, over 40,000 customers see great benefits like up to 40% better price performance, up to 20% lower cost, and up to 60% less energy used for the same workload. With the relative success of Graviton, we turned our sights onto machine learning. Generative AI is an inflection point in deep learning. We are seeing customers using large language models and generative AI models to deliver better prediction accuracy, reimagine user experiences, completely changing how the world interacts with AI-driven applications. Our goal is to make all ML, including generative AI, accessible to customers and industries of all sizes. And pushing the price performance of these compute-intensive workloads while delivering high energy efficiency and ease of use is fundamental to ensuring that more customers can realize the full promise of this technology. With the increasing ubiquity of ML, we're seeing models grow exponentially in size as researchers and businesses push the boundaries of what is possible. Just three years ago, state-of-the-art deep learning models included hundreds of millions of parameters. And today, they are often grown to hundreds of billions of parameters in size. This growth in model size is increasing the time to train from days to weeks and even months for some of the largest models, leading to an exponential growth in training cost. That's why we built our Trainium chip to deliver the high performance for machine learning training. Once you've trained your machine learning model, you need to do inference. And this requires extreme performance to generate predictions in real time. That's why we built our Inferentia chip to deliver low latency, low cost inference for customers. Ruba, have you seen partners take advantage of our silicon products like Nitro, Graviton, Inferentia, Tranium, even Nitro SSDs to help our customers innovate and achieve their business outcomes? Dave, I love the story that you just went through and there are so many great examples of our partners taking advantage of the silicon products that you mentioned. I want to share a few examples with you today. One is with a partner in the Graviton delivery specialization within the APN or AWS partner network differentiation program. They were supporting the customer SEI Novus, which is a portfolio intelligence platform for institutional investors that need to be able to manage up to billions of dollars of investments. Now, when SEI Novus was searching for a more cost-effective, agile, and scalable solution, they engaged one of our partners, Kalent, to migrate their container compute infrastructure. Kalent recommended migrating from x86-based Amazon EC2 instances to AWS Graviton-based EC2 instances. And the results speak for themselves. The customer realized savings of up to 10% in their spot instances and up to 60% from the Graviton adoption. And these improvements are expected to continue to scale. And this opened up opportunities to continue to improve efficiency and bring down costs over time. So the next example to cover is specific to Inferentia and Trainium, obviously top of mind given that machine learning is on top of mind for a lot of folks these days. Building, training, and deploying large language and vision models is an expensive and time-consuming process that requires deep expertise in machine learning. And since the models are very complex and can contain hundreds of billions of parameters, generative AI is largely out of reach for many developers. So to close this gap, earlier this year, we announced the expanded collaboration between AWS and partner Hugging Face, a central hub for machine learning with more than 100,000 free and accessible machine learning models that are downloaded more than 1 million times daily by researchers, data scientists, and machine learning engineers. We're working with Hugging Face to help developers bring generative AI applications to production faster. And not just faster, but with better performance and lower cost using machine learning tools like Amazon SageMaker, AWS Trainium for training models, and AWS Inferentia to develop the latest generation of large language and vision models. As a result, with Inf1, Hugging Face saw up to 70% lower cost than comparable EC2 instances. And with INF2, they have seen up to 8x lower latency for BERT-like transformers compared to INF1. Generative AI is an inflection point in deep learning that can reinvent user experiences and applications. And we're just getting started. But we look forward to making this technology more accessible to the AI community through this partnership with Hugging Face and other partners who are leveraging the silicon innovation you talked about. So Dave, can you share now and give us a sneak peek more into the future of AWS silicon innovation? Now, Ruba, I can't really predict what the future may bring, but I know that we will continue to work backwards from our customers' needs, building more reliable, secure, and scalable cloud infrastructure that enables them to accelerate business innovation by bringing virtually any workload to the cloud and running it cost-effectively with high performance. 
When we first started AWS, we thought customers would only really need a single compute instance, the infamous M1 small. We were clearly wrong, but by listening to our customers, we were able to quickly course correct and deliver to them many more instances to better match the workloads they were trying to run. As businesses bring more workloads to the cloud to better serve their customers, drive operational efficiencies, and outpace their competition, we anticipate that their need for cost-effective and high-performance infrastructure will continue to rise, and AWS will continue to innovate on their behalf to meet this need. Whether it's working with our partners to bring their latest silicon to AWS, or building our own silicon, our goal is always to provide customers with the best choice of compute that is best for their workloads and their business. We are still in the early days of cloud computing. So far, we have innovated in silicon through the compute stack, starting from the Nitra system, all the way down to the Graviton processors, ML accelerators with Inferentia and Tranium, and even our own SSDs. But we'll also continue to monitor emerging technologies and spaces like generative AI, quantum computing, and HPC to build integrated services and solutions that include our regions, data centers, servers, networking, silicon, and software so that we can best meet our customers' future needs. The technology landscape is ever evolving, and by being laser focused on our customers, we're sure to deliver the right products for them to be successful. Ruba, this has been a fun conversation. How can customers and partners take advantage of our silicon innovation? Well, I've learned a lot today, but there's always so much more. Today, we talked about the history of our silicon innovation and shared how customers and partners have taken advantage of many of those instances. There are a few ways that customers and partners can take advantage of this innovation today. First, migrate workloads to AWS Graviton. Try AWS Graviton Fast Start and move a workload to AWS Graviton in as little as four hours to get better price performance for services like Amazon Aurora, Amazon Elasticash, Amazon EMR, AWS Lambda, and AWS Fargate. Second, build on what is already available and innovate together with our many partners. Our partners can develop software, tools, and services specifically optimized for AWS Silicon so that together we can provide a unique value proposition to our customers. Use the Graviton Ready program to look up and contact a Graviton delivery partner to help you assess your application portfolio and develop a plan to migrate to AWS Graviton and achieve the amazing performance that Dave talked about, such as up to 40% better price performance. Customers can work with AWS partners to migrate to Graviton or find partners who are building on our generative AI platforms, which are some of the easiest ways to get started. And our AWS partner network differentiation programs also have categories for both Graviton and machine learning to help you find the partners with the specialized expertise needed to achieve your goals. AWS Silicon Innovation has helped AWS deliver innovations for our customers, and we're just getting started with that innovation. It is still day one. We're committed to investing and creating new offerings and enhancements to help optimize workloads on AWS. And I'm excited to see what more we can do together. Huge shout out, Dave, to you and your team for continuing to raise the bar and innovate on behalf of our customers and partners. Thank you.